It's inevitable that another change in the dugout will be made sooner rather than later. Eric Ten Hag is currently overseeing Manchester United's worst start to a campaign in 60 years. United have had a difficult start to the season this year, already losing five times in the Premier League, sitting eighth in the table. Their campaign has got a whole lot worse as their hold on the Carabao Cup came to a dismal end as they were served up a 3-0 humiliation at the hands of Newcastle. The Red Devils spectacularly failed to bounce back from a humiliating derby loss to Manchester City, which left them eight points outside the Premier League's top four after just ten games. Ten Hag's side have also been beaten twice in the Champions League and face an uphill battle to reach the knockout stages. It is below the standards everyone expects from Manchester United, Ten Hag admitted to reporters after the Newcastle game. It is not good enough by far, and we have to put it right. I take responsibility for it. It is my team, and they are not performing. Those were the words of a man who knows he is already on borrowed time. The players have stopped giving their all for Ten Hag, and the poor results will continue until the United board hand the Dutchman. Manchester United boss Eric Ten Hag is under serious pressure. But who could be brought in to replace the former Ajax boss? There are already some big names who could be the answer. Here are potential candidates to succeed Ten Hag. 1. Roberto De Zerbi There aren't many more suitable candidates than Roberto De Zerbi if United wants an ambitious manager with a unique playing style who can bring back entertainment to a disillusioned fan base. Since joining Brighton in September 2022, the former manager of Shakhtar Donetsk and Sassuolo has done wonders, leading the team to its first-ever Europa League appearance. Because of his possession-based style of play and insistence on attacking from the back, De Zerbi has drawn comparisons to Pep Guardiola. Some have even said that he may succeed the Spaniard at Man City if he decides to quit his position. United would be wise to swoop for De Zerbi before their local rivals, and not just because of his obvious tactical nows. The 44-year-old is also a master when it comes to the development of talented young players, with the likes of Alexis McAllister, Moises Caicedo, Kaoru Mitoma, and Purvis Estupinan, all improving drastically under his stewardship. 2. Zinedine Zidane The Frenchman's name has often popped up when United have been on the lookout for a manager, and his record in the Champions League is astonishing, winning three in a row with Real Madrid, a feat that has never been matched, along with six other trophies. His presence and legendary status demand respect from players as soon as he walks in a room while he has proved he can work with the biggest of egos while at the Bernabeu. Now might be the best moment to sign him. However, his second spell as manager ended in May of 2021, and he has not had a job since, Plus, everything was already in place at Madrid for him to be a success. Whether Zidane has the managerial nows to take on a job that might need the roots being dug up also remains to be seen. He was one of the best footballers of his generation and has also proven himself as an elite manager who can handle the biggest egos and pressure of expectation at the very highest level. Zidane doesn't have any experience of rebuilding a team from scratch but he would instantly command respect in the United dressing room, and his win-at-all-costs mentality might be exactly what is needed to lift the club out of its current slump. 3. Graham Potter One may argue Brighton would not be the same force under De Zerbi today if Graham Potter had not built the requisite foundations. During his three-year tenure, Potter turned the Seagulls into a top-10 Premier League team, earning him a chance as Chelsea manager. Following their hasty decision to abandon Thomas Tuchel in the opening stages of the 2022-23 season, the Todd Boyley-led ownership group turned to Potter, who won his first nine games in charge after buying out from Roman Abramovich. However, results soon took a turn for the worse, as he struggled to manage a bloated squad and he was powerless to prevent Chelsea dropping into the bottom half of the table. It was no surprise when Potter was sacked just seven months into his tenure, and he's yet to return to the dugout. If Ratcliffe's minority takeover at Old Trafford proceeds as planned, 
It has been stated that he is thinking of making a move for Potter. The former Swansea city coach would undoubtedly seize the opportunity to try and redeem his reputation. Potter certainly has the coaching experience, but his hiring would probably make United supporters even more hostile. Moreover, he doesn't seem to have the charm and confidence needed to lead a Premier League club to victory. 4. Unai Emery After exceeding expectations at Sevilla, Unai Emery rose to prominence in Europe as a top manager and went on to win several trophies at Paris Saint-Germain, despite the team's Champions League failure. When Arsenal selected Emery to replace Arsene Wenger as manager in 2018, it seemed like a perfect fit. However, Emery only lasted 18 months at Emirates Stadium and was unable to get the team back into the top four. The Spaniard's reputation suffered as a result, but he gave everyone a reminder of his special abilities by leading Villarreal to victory over United in the Europa League in 2021 and their unexpected run to the Champions League semi-finals the following season. Aston Villa brought Emery back to the Premier League October 2022 and he has since proved that he probably should have been given more time at Arsenal. Villa have risen to fifth after 10 games this term and are the joint top scorers in the division. Emery has got the best out of players like Oli Watkins, Matty Cash and Ezri Kansa, while recruiting exciting talents such as Musa Diaby and Nicolo Zaniolo. Emery has revived a side that had fallen to 14th place under Steven Gerrard, and they are now in with a legitimate chance of qualifying for the Champions League. United would be insane not to consider the former Arsenal manager, who understands how to maximize his resources and surpass expectations. 5. Zabi Alonso Zabi Alonso's legacy as a Liverpool legend makes him a difficult sell for United fans, but he's perhaps the game's most promising young coach right now. Bayer Leverkusen were in the relegation zone in the Bundesliga when he took over in October 2022, but finished sixth after an astonishing effort in the second half of the season. They've risen even higher this season, leapfrogging champions Bayern Munich to the top of the table after eight victories and a tie in their first nine games. Alonso is another manager to have followed a similar tactical blueprint to Guardiola, who he worked with at Bayern during his playing days, and it's paying off. Leverkusen are a joy to watch under Alonso, having scored 50 goals already this season in just 15 games, and he's developing a great track record when it comes to improving his players. He's destined to step up to an elite club in the near future, and United might just be willing to ignore his Liverpool affiliation given how much potential he has. 6. Hansi Flick Hansi Flick was fired from the German national team in September. He had a miserable spell as coach of the German national team. He took control in 2021, following 2020 Euro, and survived nothing more than two years. At the 2022 World Cup, he underperformed awfully, as Germany was eliminated in the group stages by Japan. He was subsequently fired last month after the same team humiliated him 4-1 at home. While his reputation might be slightly tarnished after his less than impressive spell in charge of Germany, there are not many better managers than Flick who are currently free agents. His preferred formation of 4-2-3-1 would suit United's current crop of players and has made a commitment to attacking football throughout his career. As manager of Bayern Munich, Flick inherited a squad many had deemed was full of egos, but he managed to temper them and won the treble in 2020, just the club's second in their history. That Bayern side was renowned for being one of the best in recent memory, scoring three goals on average per game in all competitions, while he left the club with an 83% win rate. Flick had completed a sextuple with the German giants Bayern Munich in 2020, proving that he can be successful and lead a team like United at the club level. Finally, from the best in the league to Champion League specialist to Anfield hero or even Pep Guardiola clone, there's no shortage of Ten Hag replacements. The question to consider is, who will United look to next to improve this collection of disillusioned, low-confidence flops? 
all of the above-mentioned possible contenders have the necessary skills to replace Ten Hag and provide a significant impact on the squad. It is only the matter of time now whether United will stick to Ten Hag and support him to revive the team back to the top, which is grievously impossible, or they will do the needful and bring in new hands for the job. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click on the notifications bell for more video on your favorite sport. Until the next, please stay tuned.